everyone, Hallie Cott is here with Whole Lifestyle Nutrition. Today we are going to talk a little bit about stevia. And right here, what you're looking at is my stevia plant. And what we're gonna do is, uh, it's fall here in Wisconsin, um, and we've had one minor frost where I covered these plants. Um, and the stevia likes, it gets a lot sweeter the cooler it gets. However, it will not tolerate a frost. So you definitely wanna harvest your stevia um, at the, last part of the fall. So uh, my temperatures are dropping down into the 30s here pretty soon. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, get the stevia up. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the clippy, a clipping from the base. Let's just see here. I'm just gonna try to show you. I'll just show you on a little one. I'm just gonna put the pinch here. You're just gonna take it off here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be harvesting the leaves, okay? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually take all the stems off. I'm gonna take these inside and then I'm going to wash them really good and then I'm going to take the leaves off and I am going to take them outside on my table and I will show you and dry them for 12 hours in the sun. It's gonna be a nice sunny day today. So anyways, I will show you that process as soon as I get these washed up. Okay, so I've picked my stevia and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my sink, clean sink up um, with water. Um, filter water if you have it um, and then I'm just going to put it in here um, and you can see there's all kinds of dirt there could be bugs I'm going to go ahead and really clean this really good um, and I'm going to take it out drain the water again and probably do this process two to three times until the water is clean so that's what you're going to do I to put the whole plant in and that's how you're going to clean it you're just going to take it up and put it in a strainer and then once it's dry we're going to go ahead and pick the leaves off and then dry them out in the sun. Okay now you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your stevia plant that's dried from being washed and you're going to go ahead and you're going to start uh, taking the leaves off. The leaves are where this um, sweetness is all held. And you also want to keep in mind that you want to take your tip off. There's a lot of stevia in there, so just pinch the tip off and just work your way down and pull all the leaves. Leaving the stem, because we're not going to make that into stevia, and just pick. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put them, if you notice, I have a screen here. It's an old window screen. It's going to allow um, air to get through the underside, um, but you could also use this table. Um, you see there's slits in it, um, and that would allow air to get through as well. So you don't necessarily need the screen. I just happen to have an old one that I kept around for gardening purposes such as this, for this uh, kind of project. And you're just going to take all your leaves all the way off and then you're going to dry these in 12 hours of sun. Now you're not wanting to go more than 12 hours. It should be dried. If for some reason you do not have a warm day and it's cool outside, go ahead and just take the stem, hang it upside down like this, and put it in your pantry for a day and it should be dry by the next day. And then just take the leaves off at that point. So there you have it. You're just going to go ahead and you're just going to spread these out and let them dry. I'm going to finish the rest of these and I'll be back in 12 hours to show you the dried product and we'll go ahead and make stevia from there. Hello everyone, I'm back and I just got my stevia from outside. Um, it dried for about 10 hours, anywhere from 8 to 12 hours depending on how warm it is in the sun. And I just have these wonderful dried leaves. Um, that I'm going to show you how to make pure stevia powder as well as um, liquid uh, stevia, which a lot of people like to use liquid stevia. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. I'd like to show you the difference between uh, store-bought stevia and uh, your garden stevia. And there's quite a few differences. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can get a close-up of what it looks like. Okay, I wanted to show you the two different stevias. The one right here is th from the store, and it is extracted from a water extraction method, which leaves the powder white. It is semi-processed, 
Um, but I wanted to show you that this is up to 300 times sweeter than sugar. Um, and I love this little spoon. It's called a smidgen. And that's pretty much all you'll ever need. It's just a smidgen of the stevia. So anyways, that's what that looks like, store-bought. Here is stevia that I, this is actually harvested from last year and I made this uh, last year. Look how green it still is. It's just so nice in color. Now this is out of my garden. So what, and I'll show you the smidgen, sorry here. But this is the green stevia. Um, it's not as sweet as the stevia on my left. Um, but still plenty sweet. Um, if you're using stevia out of your garden, you can pretty much replace, if a recipe calls for one cup of sugar, you can use three to four teaspoons of pure stevia powder out of your garden to replace the one cup of sugar. It's not as bitter as your pure stevia that you um, get out of the store. Um, it's a lot more mild in flavor and it, it really is good. So that's the difference between store-bought and garden stevia. Okay, so here's the stevia out of my garden um, that I dried, and it's really nice and uh, crisp. I don't know if you could hear. It's, they're, they're nice and dry. So what we're gonna do here, you could either just take one leaf and crumble it up, and that could be your pure stevia, but I like mine a lot finer. I like it to be a powder. And what I found that, that works best, a food processor would work, but what works best is a coffee grinder. I have two coffee grinders, one for black pepper and spices, and then I have one for stevia. You could possibly um, uh, wash it out uh, and um, have this just be your one, but that's your choice. So anyways, you're just gonna take some of the, uh, stevia leaves, you're going to put it into your coffee grinder. And you just want to grind it to a really fine powder. Upside down. Oh, you can just taste the sweetness. I mean, be careful because it's very powdery. You're going to get this beautiful green powder. like that okay this is pure stevia and it's just wonderful um, very very sweet like I said I can just taste it just from the powder so that's how you make pure stevia that simple so if you want to make liquid stevia what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take a fourth of a cup of your pure stevia And you're going to go ahead and take one cup of warm filtered water and one fourth cup of pure stevia powder. Okay. You're going to put it in a glass jar. You can either stir it or shake it up a little bit. Look at that green liquid stevia. And you're going to let this sit out for 24 hours. Um, and kind of let it marinate if you want to say that. But anyways, after 24 hours, you put it in your refrigerator and when a recipe calls for pure stevia powder, you can use this. Um, you can make lemonade with it. Um, the only thing is, is it might tint your food green because um, you can see it's a pretty dark stevia powder, um, or I'm sorry, liquid stevia, but this is pure liquid stevia. So I hope you enjoyed this segment. Um, doing your own stevia is super easy, affordable, um, easy to grow, and a nice alternative to the store bought. Oh, I got someone who wants to say hi. Our latest addition. This is Gemma. Just thought you might want to see her in chicken. Oh, I know, you're so cute. Until next time, Hallie Cottis.